Hi, welcome to another episode on crypto and stocks. So let's get started with the first news. The first news is about electric vehicle theme based stocks in Indian stock market. And they have grouped these stocks based upon the sector or what kind of business they do. For example, in the silicon carbide, there is Carborundum Universal and Grandville Norton. In battery manufacturer, we have Amara Raja batteries, Excite batteries. Kabara extrusion. So Kabara extrusion has given massive returns in the last one year. If, if you look at the chart of this company share price, you will see that it has given massive returns in the last one year. And then from the chemical sector, there is a Tatva Chintan, Tata Chemical, Neogen Chemical, Gujarat Fluoro Chemicals. Then pet film man, film manufacturer, Uplex, Polyplex, Jindal Polyfilms, Cosmo Films, Time Technoplast uh, Limited. From the tire sector, we have got MRFC at Apollo Goodyear. Then in the charging space, we have got Tata Power Reliance Industries. Commercial vehicle, we have got uh, Atul Auto and Ashok Leland. In two-wheeler TVS Motors, Bajaj Auto, Commodities, Hindustan Copper. Because Hindustan Copper uh, makes or manufactures the copper which is used in batteries. Well, lithium ion batteries then there is a nalco national aluminum company in hindelco so all the mineral based stocks then for in four we have got tata motors and maruti suzuki in auto ancillary we have got gabriel india mother susumi pix transmission film industries minda industries superjit engineering sona blw precision asahi india lumax industries subaros limited and in software, we've got Tata ALXI, KPIT Technologies, LNT Technology Services, and Explio Solutions. So, really good stocks uh, they have given in this list. You can think about them. Next tip about wealth creation is that wealth is created by in investing 2.5 lakhs, 5 lakh, 10 lakh in one stock, then 10 stocks. So, most of the time people will invest like in bunch of stocks like they will split the amount in multiple stocks uh, so yes you get the diversification with this approach but if you want to like make good returns you will have to take a risk right and that is what this study is talking about so if you invest more money in one stock one quality stock it will be much better than investing in 10 stocks which are not that that good okay so concentrated portfolio basically but there is a risk always if you minimize the number of stocks in your portfolio that will be a risky proposition so you have to manage your risk and what uh, depends on what is your risk appetite basically and based upon that you can take the decision next is about the sugar sector in india so RJ stocks uh, Twitter handle is saying that they are bullish on the sugar sector and main reason being normally sugar sector is a cyclical so they will uh, get good revenues for one year the next year they will not be a good revenues for that sector also depends on the rain as well but uh, recently what is happening in this sector is that um, sugar factories have also started producing ethanol which would be used as the fuel and that's why it, it opens a new opportunity for them to create another uh, like stream of the revenue and that's why this this guy is bullish on the sugar sector the next tweet from the finmedium.com uh, which is which has given this picture which says like the largest which tells the largest stock markets by market cap in the world and usa at the top where market cap is 46 trillion dollars like the market cap is some all the market cap of all the companies listed in United States, NASDAQ, NYSE, etc. Then that will come around 46 trillion dollars. Then followed by there is a China with 11 trillion dollars. Then there is a Japan 5 trillion dollars. Then Hong Kong 5 trillion dollars. Saudi Arabia 3.16 trillion dollars. And just look there at the sixth position we have got India which is also has got 3.16 trillion dollar of market cap so you can see india is growing and uh, growing rapidly in next uh, five six years i think it will come to a fifth position maybe
Yeah, it will definitely cross Saudi Arabia, but it will also topple Hong Kong, most probably. Next is about the Manali Petrochemical. Manali Petrochemical is one of the stock which can give good returns and it has got really good ratios like return on equity 34%, capital employed 45%, debt is just nil 0 0.02 and uh, basically Pankaj Parikh is saying that this stock uh, is, is gonna be a very good stock and it may give good returns for the investors. And it's in the business of a poly, uh, propylene glycol, polyether, polyols, pro, poly, propylene oxide, etc. I don't know what where they are used, but it looks like they are growing their revenue sales and everything looks good for this company. The next uh, news is about Stripe. So Stripe is one of the leading, or I'll say the leader in payment industry in the world and what is happening here is that they are going to support the payments in bitcoin and other crypto so really good news for the crypto investors because stripe is largest company in terms of payments business okay they are like a monopoly and if they are coming up with this crypto i think like if they're going to support these payments then obviously more and more people will start using the crypto and bitcoin so in 2018 they had decided to not support these payments in crypto but in 2022 everything has changed okay a lot of big institutions and big companies are coming and uh, adopting the uh, bitcoin and cryptocurrencies so stripe is one of them next is about the crowd strike the security related stock in uh, u.s stock market and they have just declared the fourth quarter uh, re revenue or the numbers so you can see revenue is up by 63 percent and other ratios are also really good and that's why i think uh, because of the recent crash it makes a really good opportunity for people to go and uh, invest in this particular company at this point of time next uh, big news coming from amazon amazon has announced 24 one stock split and 10 billion dollar buyback as well and that's why in uh, last couple of days stock had risen by up to 10 percent and it's a quality stock as well so i think People will keep on buying this stock until their business stops growing at the pace. And then uh, there is a list of companies that are growing heavily like in Indian stock market. So Tips Industries has given 3,000 returns, a percent returns, then Adani Transmission, Tanla Platforms, Saregamapa, 1,000 percent returns, Alkaila Mines. 2000% returns, then Apollo Tricot, Deepak Nitrate, Poshuk, Master Godavari Power Transmission, Kanchika, Carb, Simek, Poforsh, Bajaj Steel, then there is Data ALX, SI, LTI, Mind, Balajia Mines, all these companies, Nelco, and APL Apollo. These have given really good returns in the last five years. So if you look at these tips, industries, and Saragama, just look at these returns massive massive returns they are given then another news coming from the spacex sphere they have launched another 48 starlink satellites into the orbit so spacex is not listed yet but i am eagerly waiting for this to get listed so that i can go and buy some stocks of spacex the next news coming from dubai dubai has approved a law to regulate and promote bitcoin and crypto so another good news coming from the crypto space so that's it for today's video if you have any questions or if you want me to cover any topic in the crypto industry let me know through the comment just put the comment down below and then let me, i'll try to uh, make video or just do more research on the topic and then share my thoughts on that thank you for watching